Norway's oldest. You've been busy then, yeah? Yeah, we've, yeah, we've been busy hauling this out uh, for a couple of days, sir, and getting it ready for the visit. Um, this is the type of currency that we have with uh, the students when they when they come out on course. So we build these with them. Yeah. Um, basically, what we do is we get it into uh, we get them to design the outside exterior, and then on the interior we have them tunnel through. Um, we do this dome shape so that the water will drip off the, the sides and not onto the students. We, we tend not to have it quite this shape inside. Yeah. Um, we tend to have the bedding going all the way around without the, ex uh, the tunnel at the back here. Yeah. Um, and we dig it through so that we got uh, the little sticks so we, we check there uh, that we're not going too far when we dig so it's structurally sound for the students. Um, give them a good uh, introduction into the survival night. It's quite, it's quite an accomplishment, like once you finish this, to actually... To be, to be spending some time in it. I mean, very yeah. kind of you to invite us all into your into your private uh, shrine, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and how, many, so how many people do you normally have? You have up to. S we, we've had eight in them before with the students. We've had up to eight people in them. Um, most most commonly about six. Yeah, six to eight. And the music, is that part of it? It's well? not always necessary. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day, isn't it? Yes. Oh, well, yeah. It's great to sure hold hands. <laughs> I declare before you all that my whole life whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and to the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong.